Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestummies.com and today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to make reusable flannel towels to swap out single-use paper towels in your kitchen or bathroom. We're gonna go over materials, sizes, how to finish the edges, and even how to display them in your home. Let's take a look. So let's take a look. This is a commercially purchased uh, unpaper towel or non-paper towel, and really what it is is a length of flannel that has been surged with an overlock stitch, and this is just a normal thread. This isn't um, fuzzy polyester. And from what I measured, the purchased one is about 10 and 7 eighths this way by about nine and a half. Um, so I used these in the kitchen. They worked great, uh, and we used them for hand towels, wiping up spills on the counter, um, almost anything you'd use a paper towel for, except for like really messy things. Yeah, I don't wanna like soak up bacon grease with this, but um, it was a reasonable replacement. So I went ahead and I made my own, and this is what I'm gonna show you today. These are a little bit bigger. These are actually um, just over 11 inches by nine and a half inches, just because the way I cut my yardage, but I'll get into that too. I also used a serger overlock stitch. This one actually, I used like the fuzzy polyester to give it more of an encapsulation encapsulated look. Now you can do this with your home machine. The difference is uh, how much coverage you're going to get, but the idea of doing some kind of an overlock stitch or a zigzag stitch is going to keep all of this from fraying, which is going to be great because you're going to want to wash these frequently in hot water and we don't want them, you know, falling apart on us. So um, again, you can make some adjustments with your home machine. As I mentioned, these are a little bit bigger and I'll tell ya, I think mine actually look nicer. I'm just gonna brag on myself for a minute. I think mine look better. And you can buy all kinds of cute flannel prints. Now here's one that I did that had uh, the overlock stitch, but with just a single versus a double needle. This is one I did on a home machine. These have a tendency to curl up a little bit, but I'm not mad at it. And like I said, look at all the cute prints that you can buy to customize for the season or for your kitchen. So next thing is let's take a look at the cutting diagram. So here I just graphed out for you a piece of fabric that would be, let me do it this way, 44 inches across by 36 inches. Um, wide, because that's usually what commercial fabrics that you can get, like a Joann fabric or Hancock or whatever. And I actually grayed out the one inch on each edge for the selvage. Now you can use that depending on your fabric. Sometimes it's printed all the way to the edge. Sometimes it has those little dots and you don't want that necessarily on your finished project. Because these are towels, I don't really think it matters, but I just cut it out so that you could see that if you took the remainder of your fabric and you measured 10 inches, wide by 12 inches long, you can get a dozen of these towels out of one yard of fabric and have a little bit left over and I can show you what to do with these two to three inches at the end. So when you get your fabric, the other thing you can do is cut off the selvages and then just fold it in half and in half again, which is kind of what I've done here. And see here, this is the one selvage that you could use Here's the selvage that you don't want to use. So you would just fold this in a way. Now this is flannel, so it's a little on the sticky side. I would just go like this and cut that off. And if you wanted to be like super quick about it, just go like this and fold it nicely and neatly and you're gonna get your four across, and if it doesn't matter to you if they're all exactly the same or not. I mean, all of these will be exactly the same, but from fabric to fabric, it may be different. So then you can just cut along this edge with your fabric scissors and go snip, 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 or use a rotary cutter and go up the other side. And then I just lightly rounded the corners using a bowl or a plate. And again, you can use a rotary cutter for this or you could draw using a fabric marker and then cut that with your scissors. Either way, you're gonna get a nice rounded edge and then you're gonna take it to your machine. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you do it on the serger. 
Okay, and now to serge, I'm just gonna go around the edge and I'm gonna let the knife just basically skim off that little bit. And the way I like to get started is actually to start kind of after a corner and line it up right along the edge. All right. And I'm just skimming off the edge a little bit. When I get to the corner, I'm actually gonna tug and pull it so that it rounds the corner with me. And my machine is threaded with four threads and basically a woolly nylon so that I get really nice coverage on the edge. When I get to the last corner, I'm going to take this tail and pull it and just move it to the inside so it is caught in my seam. And one last bit. And then when I see it getting close to the edge where it's already started, I'm going to just fold it kind of out of the way and chain off. And that gives me a pretty smooth edge. I can put just a dot of glue and then trim the two tails off. But that gives me a nice, pretty smooth edge all the way around. And you see, it did not take long. It was like a minute with a little bit of practice and I am a fairly new person to surging. So if I can do it, you can do it. So here are the three towels that I just made. This one had um, like a knit stitch that I just did around the edge. This one was the knit stitch, but I added an additional straight stitch. Again, just to stabilize it, I wanna make sure that it doesn't uh, fray or unravel. And then this is the four needle overlock with the woolly nylon, which is just, I love this edge. It's so beautiful. If you don't have that, you might be able to find somebody to do that for you. Um, but anyways, I think all of these edges are very clean, they're pretty, and they will keep your towels durable, which is really the point. Now let's talk about how you can store them. So for Christmas this year, I made stacks of these in different colors, and I found that if I went ahead and just folded them in thirds like this, they fit perfectly in these little baskets that I ordered from amazon.com and I can share the link down below. Um, I put a little pretty ribbon around it, made a little tag using my e-mark uh, saying that they're non-paper towels, use them in place of napkins or paper towels, machine wash warmer hot, and um, yeah, so kind of like a little instruction material. But they also work on a paper towel roll. So here I have a cardboard tube. This actually came from wrapping paper, but you could use an old paper towel roll. And in order to get them to work on your, your tube, all you have to do is wrap the first one around. I don't even add any extra felt or anything. And then just roll them and overlap them about a couple of inches. And what you'll see is that they actually stick to each other because they're flannel. And um, you can get, oh, I would say 10 or 12 of these on a roll, which just makes them really uh, convenient for family members who might be a little hesitant to try something new. And you can see I'm just rolling them. And if you get them right out of the dryer, they're not too, too wrinkly. I can smooth them out by hand and get them on the roll, which will further press them out while they're still warm. But you can see you can get a lot of them on here and stand them up and they're not going anywhere. And one last thing, you know those extra two to three inches at the end of the selvage? You can make cotton rounds. I cut these in about two and a half inches square and then just use the knife on the serger to create the rounded edge. And if you're really looking to double down, you can use your favorite panty liner to trace a template and make your own. These are washable, no more extra paper products going into landfills and no chemicals next to your most delicate skin. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video educational and formative. Please consider giving a thumbs up, liking, and subscribing. Thank you so much for watching, and have a crafty day.